Hi, it's Cheryl. I'm right in the middle of planting some tomato seedlings. Um, and this one's kind of a unique container planting, so I thought you'd want to see it. This is a rose tomato. You can see how tall it is right here. It looked just like this one right here. It was a seedling, and then I moved it into that pot, and then it grew way too tall. I let it get super tall because I'm behind in my gardening, as most gardeners are. So what I did is I took off the lower branches. I'll take, and I'm going to on this one, this one, this one, this one. So I'm only going to leave that part right there. All the rest I'm stripping it naked, which is exactly what I did with this one right down here. And what's interesting about this and why I think you might want to see it is, you can see that big root ball down there. Let's see if I can focus it. That whole big pop, uh, ball down there, that was the seed. And you see how many great roots there are. I'm actually laying it on its side and I'm tilting it up and I'm bending it all the way up and I'm going to bury all of that long stem because it, they went too long and every one of those little hairs that are coming off of that will grow new roots so it's going to have a fantastic root system and I won't leave it laying right up against the pot like that or the bucket I'll probably form it you know put the soil around it and form it right nice like that now most people would only put one tomato plant in a bucket like this. This is one of my free buckets. I just did another video on how I got all my free buckets for my containers. Make sure you check that out. It's about four and a half gallons. Most people would just put one plant in there, but if you can see some of my other ones, I put two and sometimes even three, depending on if it's cherries or regular, um, in one pot in last year. Fantastic results. I What I tend to do is I tilt them outwards. Like instead of putting them right in the middle of the pot together, I'll tilt them out all the way to the edge, put some about an inch of soil around the edge, and then kind of tip it outwards so it grows, you know, a little bit maybe 20 degree angle instead of having it go straight. And that way they have plenty of room. So what I'm going to do is take this other rose tomato, first time I've ever grown this one, take off my lower three branches, and I'm going to lay it in the bottom on the other side. Like right now I have this one here, I'm going to lay that one over here, bend it, and you have to be super careful because you can snap them. But this one you can see is very thick and firm and it's very healthy. It's very got a lot of water in it. And it bent really nicely. But um, yeah, that, enough on that. You can bend them outside before you put them in. But I just laid it in and bent it. I'm going to put the other one in there and I'm going to bend it up in the other corner. And then I'm going to fill my pot with soil. And I'm going to have two nice tomato plants growing in one bucket. Uh, with super, super roots. I think that's part of the success is uh, having that much of the stem be buried. So I thought you'd enjoy that. Let me know if you bury your tomatoes like this and how many plants you actually put in one five-gallon jug. Uh, go down in the comment section. Make sure you give this a like if, you'd, if you like the video. I appreciate that. And uh, share it with your friends. Make sure you subscribe too so you can see all the great videos I'm going to put out this summer uh, from my garden. All right, this is Cheryl signing out. Thanks. Bye-bye.